Hi, my name is Mr. Exum and welcome to my EdTech channel, where I show you how to get the most out of technology in the classroom. This video shows you how to create shared documents in your OneDrive that you can use for groups of students or whole classes to collaborate and work together on. Let's get started. save a file to your OneDrive, you can then share it with any person in the school with a school email address and you can share it with your whole class. And what that means is that when you share a file that's saved in OneDrive, everybody can work on it at the same time. Uh, so here is a very simple uh, Word document that I've created and I can watch as they all contribute and collaborate on this document at the same time. So really useful for making the class still feel connected while they're away and for sharing information so that don't feel like they're isolated anymore. So how do I save it onto OneDrive? Well I go File, Save As and I can go onto OneDrive. Okay, and I can choose a folder, create a folder, whatever I want to do. I'm going to save it there as uh, Quotes to Save. Okay. So now it says quotes to is saved, you can see that up there. And all I've got to do now is share that document with my class. Do that, I click on the share icon at the top right. And people you specify can edit. And in here I can type in individual names. So I can find teachers, or I could find whole set codes. So if I want uh, my fifth form biology, for example, I can pick that class there. Okay. And that group's going to be invited. I just give them a little message here uh, as to what to do. And then I just click send. And so what happened is when you share it, you get this email that will uh, arrive in whoever you've shared it with's inbox. And it's very easy for them to click on it and open it straight up and start editing straight away. If this is all working within the desktop app that I've shown you so far, but remember also that OneDrive is in the cloud, so you can access that uh, on a browser as well. Now if you have a file on here and you want to get to the share options, here's the, the quotes file, you're just looking for that little share icon next to a file and you get the same little box popping up here. You can click that to choose uh, a bit more details about editing and wh whether it's a completely open link or whether it's just people in your organization. And uh, if you want to copy a link rather than send them an email to put a link somewhere else, and you can do that there. So you've still got the same options. Now you may have a group fo a file and lots of people have been editing it and uh, you really want to know who's done what within that file. Now what's quite nice is if you click on the little ellipsis next to a file and, and you click version history, you will be able to get all the changes that have been made to that file by those different people. Uh, and you'll be able to roll back to those individual uh, versions if you need to to see what was changed. Now if you're using Teams with students and you may be thinking well why am I would I be doing it via OneDrive I can just stick some some files in the class team. Yeah you can do but you then need to go into each of those files and change all the permissions as to who's got access to each of those. When actually some in some ways adding it to your own OneDrive and sharing it from there is uh, can be a better option depending on what the task is that you're getting them to do. So there you go. Easy to do and really effective. I hope it was useful and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. See you next time.